time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports Page brought to you by Kaufman and Lynn, injury attorneys. Good morning, Mike Bianchi. Good morning, gents. How are you this morning? Doing all right. Whew. A lot of football to talk about. Huh? Yeah. Let's start with that. That's why I was going, Whew. what a weekend. Yeah, let's start with yesterday's games. Man, the Bills are never going to be able to climb Mount Mahomes, are they? Never going to be able to do it. They lose last night again. They were at home. They had every opportunity to win, and they go down. Uh, what was the final score? I don't even have it. 27-24. 20, 27-24, to their kicker. <laughs> mm. They need a new kicker so desperately, dude. Oh, God. God. That guy, he, he better have his bags packed and be headed to uh, city limits. Yeah, it was a great, I mean, it was a great game to watch. It really was. Neither team led by more than seven points. They traded the lead, f- lead five times, uh, but you knew, <laughs> you knew if it came down to the end, Buffalo would find a way to blow it, and Tyler Bass did blow it, missed that 44-yard field goal, but give give the Chiefs credit. They go on the road. Patrick Mahomes never played a playoff game on the road, and they win the game. Travis Kelsey with Taylor Swift in the building. He catches a couple of touchdown passes, did the little heart thing when he caught that one touchdown oh, pass. God. Well, I hope his heart gets shattered into a million pieces in Baltimore next weekend. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, the, the Ravens did look good, did, didn't they? Especially yeah. in the second half. They were getting a battle on Saturday, it was tied at halftime, but Lamar Jackson, wow, he showed why he's going to be the MVP. The Ravens in the second half just dominated the game. Lamar Jackson throws for two touchdown passes, runs for a couple of touchdown passes. Ravens win 34-10. to Jackson made history, became the first quarterback since at least 1948 with at least two touchdown passes, two touchdown runs, 100 yards rushing, and 100 yards passing. I told, told Lynch earlier, I when we all did our picks for who's going to win the Super Bowl, I said the Chiefs because I've you know been a Chiefs fan for years because of my homes. Um, a, I think, I'm going to stick with my pick, but I think uh, Ravens' strongest win of the weekend, and I think they're going to take the whole thing. Also, I did not like how the Bills fans yesterday after that uh, their loss were throwing up you know, snowballs at the players. Yeah. Even though Chiefs players were taunting them, it was like, come on, guys, don't throw snowballs at them. Hey, uh, the 49ers had their hands full with the Packers. The Packers got a bright future, Bulldog. Hell yeah. They do have a bright future. Aaron Jones running the football, obviously. Uh, Jordan Love passing. But again, their kicker, yeah. their kicker, Anders Carlson, misses a 41-yarder. Uh, near the end of the game, that would have extended the lead to seven. It stayed at four points, and then Brock Purdy, who hadn't played well, got hot on that final drive, complete six of seven, and he takes him down. Christian McCaffrey scores the game-winning touchdown. If that kicker makes the 41-yarder, obviously there would have been a lot more pressure if Brock Purdy's trying to drive him down for a game-tying touchdown instead you know, he he takes them down for the game-winning touchdown. So, yeah, kickers certainly had a big impact on the games over the weekend. The Buccaneers, man, they did everything they could against uh, Lynch's Detroit Meatheads, but the Meatheads prevail 31-23. to You want to talk about a resurrection story. How about Jared Goff? My God. That guy was cast away by the Rams a couple of years ago. They traded him away. He was 30 of 43, 287 yards. He leads the victory. Uh, you don't want to talk about a bright future? I mean, even though the Bucks lost the game, they found their quarterback. They found their quarterback of the future. Baker Mayfield is, he was, I mean, he, he did throw a couple of picks yesterday, but he threw for almost four, uh, what did he have, 349 yards passing, um, one of the interceptions wasn't his fault. It bounced off Mike Evans' hands. And I'll tell you what, you got to be impressed with what Baker Mayfield. Overreaction, the Bucks are going to dominate that bad division for years to come. How about that? I, I, I can see that easily. <laughs> 
Uh, other news over the weekend. Gators are under NCAA investigation. That Uh-oh. came out. That broke on Friday. NIL violations in regards to remember the Jaden Rashada incident where they offered Jaden Rashada, the quarterback from California, a $13 million NIL deal that right. fell through. I guess the NCAA is just getting around to investigating this, but it looks like the Gators will probably get hammered for that. Um, Magic last night. Yeah. Beat the hated heat. Uh-huh. Looks like the Magic are finally getting healthy. The Franz, Franz Wagner finally returns hey. to the lineup. They they had their full starting lineup last night. They've only had their full starting lineup for, I think, four times this season. But they have Markel Fultz, uh, the Franz, hey, uh, Mark, <laughs> uh, uh, Jalen Suggs, Paolo Bancaro, Wendell Carter Jr. That was their starting lineup at the beginning of the season. And now um, they're back healthy. And they beat the hated heat last night. Pretty so handily, 105-87. Yeah. Yeah, dominated the Heat last night. Lightning uh, fall to the uh, Red Wings, two to one. Oh, hey, Bulldog, a question for you. What uh, d- does uh, the Sports Illustrated thing mean? No swimsuit issue. Is, is Sports Illustrated going under? Did I read that? I, it lo- they fired their whole staff mm. on the Friday. Whole staff. Yeah. Pretty much all the writers gone. Well, well, why, like I don't know why they percent or something. I don't know why they need writers with their AI. You know, but uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That was the beginning of the end for them, I guess. Good Lord. I didn't know they'd fired their entire staff. Looks like just about all of them out. Yeah, they got a notice on Friday afternoon. <laughs> we're we're uh, we're not going to fund this anymore. And, and as for your swimsuit edition, Lynch, I mean, did that even... Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's just like when Playboy went to... Mag- they don't even have a printed magazine anymore, do they? Swimsuit edition, man. Mm, okay. Mm. Maybe they'll still keep that. That was probably profitable. Well, no, well they... <laughs> As Taco kind of hinted at in the last few years, it's been well. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was a dude in there the other year. <laughs> Probably not going to say anything else at this point before somebody starts typing uh, and complaining. Anyway. Anyway. Bulldogs, is- Bulldog Sports page brought you by Kaufman and Lynn, injury attorneys. <laughs> Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday morning, 7.30 on FM 96.9. The game catch extended versions of Under Oath by searching Under Oath with Jeff Kaufman on your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh.